You've probably heard of Rocket League because, well, it's gone nothing short of insane with more than 2 million downloads having battered the servers for the particular game. If not, it's kind of like a weird mashup between football and driving games and is a free-to-play game for PS Plus and add some nice players to the primarily PC base. Now, despite the fact that the huge amount of players actually started making the servers flake out, people were loving the game so much that, well, it didn't really put more than a slight mar on their fun. However, there were some concerns as they spoke about the DLC, that's of course being the developer Psyonix. And the original comments that caused the concern go as such, Quote, our future plans for Rocket League are very aggressive. We plan on supporting the game with frequent updates, patches, enhancements, and more. That will include a mix of both free and paid DLC. That includes new battle cars, decals, rocket boosts, antennas, wheels, and other things. However, this sent a shiver of worry for the beast that was Rocket League's community. And a Reddit user expressed the concerns of most people when he said, quote, When I read an article about the interview, I became a little worried. The game right now is fantastic and easy to learn while challenging in balance. It is a skill game based almost in its entirety. If you, can, if you play casually, you still manage to have most of the fun you have while playing video games. I am very concerned that power-ups in the vein of stronger hits, faster cars and higher jumps will ruin the perfect balance the game currently masters. And obviously, there's such a wave of concern that the developer actually said, No, no, calm down guys, it's all good, it's all good, we're not going to mess with anything. And what they actually said was, quote, There are not going to be power-ups added to the game, we're not going to change balance, add stats, change physics, etc. We have a good formula, and there are already infinite ways to make the game even better without changing core gameplay. That answer may have been based on the possibility of adding mutators that allow private matches to change things up for a single match just to mix things up, but absolutely not for regular gameplay. Now, this is good because somehow, even though this game hasn't really been out that long, Rocket League is already achieving sorry, receiving attention from the esports community. Um, the ESL has already set up both a European and North American division. That's how insane this game has actually gone. And if it's a skill base, as people are saying, I will undoubtedly be terrible at it, but plenty of people are enjoying the challenge it provides. So basically, to cut down the fluff, they're still making DLC, but they're just not messing with the balance. And if they do add more cards, they will of course be integrated into the balance, and maybe a bit of playtesting to tweak them as normal, but they won't be messing with an already very successful formula. So congrats to the guys over at Psyonix for a game that is pretty much still spreading like wildfire. I'm tempted to try it out, even though I know I'm going to be horrible at it, I still want to see quite how horrible that is, and whether or not I can still have fun while being terrible. That would be nice. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.